today I'm going to do an Ubta Pro. But a wheel will be picking the bloodlines and element I start over with. The wheel will have every bloodline and every element. So I can get something as bad as mud and crystal, and I'll have to go from noob to pro with them. But before the video starts, only a small percentage of you guys are subscribed. Subscribing only takes a few seconds and it really helps out. But with all of that out of the way, let's get on to the video. Here is the wheel. As you can see it has every single bloodline in the game. I'll spin the wheel twice and use the first two bloodlines I get for the noob to pro. Then I'll use the wheel again, to pick two element, to use in the noob to pro 2. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel. So we got smoke. Smoke has a good traveling move, so it'll be useful for grinding. Let's just hope we get a good grinding bloodline. Alright so I got powder. It's definitely not a good grinding bloodline. But I guess we can also get Cho Cho Gen 3 and level it up as well. But now that we have our bloodlines. Let's spin the element wheel. Here is the element wheel. It has every element in the game. I'll spin it twice just like the bloodline wheel. Whatever I get I'll use for the noob to pro. So we got acid. Acid is pretty good for grinding due to its high damage output. Let's hope I get something like earth for my second element. Well we got shiver. Shiver is pretty bad for grinding, mainly because of its high cooldowns, and not that high of damage output. But, we'll manage with it. And at least we got acid. Now that we have our bloodlines and element, I'm going to get Cho Cho Gen 3 before we start the noob to pro. So let's do that now. Even though I got the Cho Cho Gen 3 boss drop I still needed money in order to buy the mode. So I'll be back when I get enough money to buy it. Alright so I have enough money to buy the Cho Cho Gen 3 mode now. So let's buy it and start the noob to pro. First, let's rank up to start from level 0. Then we'll level up in Master Smoke, Powder and Cho Cho Gen 3. Okay so I unlocked the second stage of Cho Cho Gen 3. Now all we need to do is get every powder move and get stage 4 of Cho Cho Gen 3. I now have the second move of powder. All we need now is the last move of powder and stage 3 and 4 of Cho Cho Gen 3. Okay my Cho Cho Gen 3 is level 1000 now. That means it's at stage 3. All we need now is to unlock the last powder move and obtain Cho Cho Gen 3 stage 4. I have the last move of powder now. 
The last thing we'll do is get stage 4 of Cho Cho Gen 3. So let's get straight into it. Alright, Cho Cho Gen 3 is finally level 1500. Now all we need to do is fight the Cho Cho spirit to obtain stage 4. We finally mastered Cho Cho Gen 3, so let's see what the moves do. The Z spec is a tail beast bomb that has a powder bomb at the end of it. The Q spec summons the Cho Cho tail beast and summons your sword. When you hit someone with your sword you put them in a sword combo then into an air combo. The E spec is a counter, but you can't see it on logs. The M1 summon Cho Cho and have lots of range. Really good for AOE damage. Now let's look at Powder, the Bloodline counterpart to Cho Cho Gen 3. The first move is an AoE sword slash that stuns at the end. The second move is an AoE stun that is really good for staggering auto dodges. The last move is a combo extender that puts anyone into a cutscene when hit. This Bloodline is mainly good for combos and PvP and not very good for PvE. Anyways that is it for the video. Let me know what I should do next. If this video does good I'll be doing a video on getting all of the masks from the Gen 3 Tail Beasts to get Gen 3 Tentails. I'll also be doing more games on Roblox other than Shindo Life, since Shindo Life will be getting less updates frequently with Relsies and Ninden coming later this year. Anyways, bye.